guys, it's Johnny. Welcome back to the Wanderlust bus. Today I am standing directly in front of a mostly completed modular closet system. And that's because I already built it. And through the magic of editing, through the magic of editing, I am going to take you back about two weeks to when we started putting this thing together and show you how it all went together. We got a couple things to do afterwards, but for now let's go check out how we got to this point and then I'll tell you what we're gonna do next. The first thing we did was to get all of the pieces we needed cut to length. Make sure that you test fit each piece because there is a possibility for differences in the frame and you don't want a closet that's all wonky. After we cut our components and dry fit everything for size, we had to prep our panels for installation. That means drilling out to assemble everything with Craig screws. We made the decision to use Craig screws instead of a more traditional joinery method like dados because it's just plain faster. Yes, you lose a fraction of the structural integrity of the piece, but it's marginal, so it wasn't worth the time. Once we had the panels ready, we can actually start installing. We Craig screw all the connection points we can and straight screw everything else. With one outside panel attached to the frame, we attach the first set of shelves, then the next upright, then shelves, then upright, then shelves. You, you get the picture. All right, well, <coughs> there's half of it. We still have to finish out this side and get to the top, and that is coming up next. Normally, this is where we would have construction of the left-hand side of the closet, but once again, I worked without telling my wife, so I had no one working the camera. So instead, enjoy some pictures of the pieces and the process of construction, as well as some of shots of the finished product from Artful Angles. All right, and that process gets us to where we are here, and that is everything built, all of the storage, uprights and shelves ready to accept our storage drawers that we're going to build out of half inch plywood and there's going to be a couple of different things one we got storage over here for jackets so that long things my wife's dresses my suit coats those things can go in this long space here we've got shoe storage down here two layers of storage will be up here where we'll have one in the back to accommodate guest blankets, uh, additional off-season clothing, and just all the stuff that you have stored everywhere around your house. Our junk drawer will be in here, our filing cabinet will be in here. All of the things that you have everywhere else, it's all going in here. So the next thing is boxes that go over here. Those have to be built. But over here, we have a big open space. Now we're gonna be using this steel pegboard to Put up some of the you know like the dust mop and little rags and all the cleaning stuff and also we're gonna have our vacuum stored here because it breaks down into a package that's small enough to mount in here and i'll have a custom stand made for that there'll also be this pegboard on both this side and that side and under here you have the cat door this is getting to be a really long video but i'll finish up with this cat door is amazing it opens up very easy to access to clean and the cool thing is the cat litter actually sits back in the back area of it and that allows a little walk wave before the cats come out the door to knock all the poop and kitty litter so they don't track it everywhere you know because they dig in that stuff it's they're kind of gross animals but hey we love them so we've got other stuff to do we've got other projects coming up so I don't know what it's going to be but you guys keep watching we appreciate it in the meantime go by the website thewanderlustbus.com Check out us on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on all the social media. And if you do feel like it and you find some value in what we're doing, swing by our Patreon page and uh, contribute. And we'd be glad to have you as a patron. So until next time, guys, I'm Johnny with the Wanderlust Bus. We'll see you real soon. Thanks for stopping by.